Is the Brexit going to make it harder to bring a non-EU partner or family to the UK? Without a doubt. Um, first thing I want to say is, as a British person, immigration love British people to persecute. And I do say persecute because the fact is, if you're constantly being bothered by them, um, then I would say, I would call that persecution in some form, even though it's not brutal or physical. Um, the fact is, when they do things to suit their figures, which is what this is all about. Um, I remember going to Germany, France and some other places. The only coaches getting searched, because I used to go on coach trips because I could bring wine back. Um, the only coaches being searched were the British ones. And we'd be in a queue. There'd be Dutch, French, German, whatever. The coaches going search to the UK were always the British ones and nobody else. Uh, that's no joke. Um, even the bus drivers were complaining about it because they said, like, I can guarantee you guys we're all going to have to get off. Because he knew every time he does it, it's the British that are targeted. Good to tick in the box. We check the British because it's not racist because we check Brits. Um, same with me going through Heathrow, coming in from the Middle East, China, etc. Always got pulled out and... I think they recognized it when they got me off one long haul flight where I hadn't slept for a, for a long, I can't remember how long. I mean, it was the, the flight was 13 hours, but I hadn't slept for probably a couple of days due to traveling, work, and bits and pieces. So I ended up arguing with the woman um, about the fact of how racist the immigration was. I said, I just got off a flight with da da da, and the only person you pick out is the white guy. Why is that? What is, what quota do you have to do? you have to go through so many people per hour? What what is it? Why is it you focus on all these people when there's so many other people here? Um, and she couldn't answer. But the 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 thing is, it's very hard to deport me from my own country. But it's also very hard to find anything in my luggage because when I'm coming into the UK, my suitcase is generally empty. I normally have a suitcase within a suitcase, and that's it. There's, the I'm only carrying air. Um, so when they open it, they're like, there's nothing in here. And then they're getting this off me. They want me gone because they, they, they know I'm coming on a long haul flight. I'm not happy. You're messing me about. But at the same time, doing it on a regular basis, you start to go, you get stuffed. You know, you've got no right to do this. There's nothing here. I don't even carry anything. Um, but that is opening up to where I'm going now. With the EU, the open border policy makes it very difficult to stop the number of people coming in from the EU from wherever. With Brits, it's a different system. Brits are targeted by British immigration. As such, non-EU partners, non-EU kids, whatever, get pushed down the line as far as possible. If they can throw you out of the country, they will happily do it. They'll stop them coming in. I mean, I know with Eli, they delayed his passport in over a year. Even though he was in the UK, it was just his father was going to go and get a new passport that is in there saying, what is going on? You're supposed to be giving me my passport for my son. We waited over a year now. Where is it? Oh, I'll just have a quick look. He's in Liverpool where the headquarters are. And then come through in the mail, no problem. These things are not by accident, in my personal opinion. They are targeting British people because they're easier to deal with. EU, EU law, EU courts, much, much more difficult to deal with. British courts with British people, it's called the Crown Prosecution Service and whatever for a reason. It's, it's all under one thing. It's like the crowns on everything, you know. It's all one entity. It doesn't matter how you play it. And that's why I find some of the stuff relating to anti-EU stuff, I've actually had more support from the EU and other countries than I've had from my own government. And not just on things like this. I mean, I know when we were out in the Middle East and bringing in a contract with Shell, we had the diplomatic service call us up asking if there was anything we would like because we're bringing in quite a large contract. Um, but dealing with some of the serious cases of people in the Philippines, um, contacting a couple of ambassadors and other people, trying to help people that have been jailed um, 
Well, not even jailed. So getting the case heard, like in the Philippines, can take seven years. And trying to get the support of the embassy to assist and whatever, they couldn't care less. Um, and I, I'm blunt with that because they do not care less. I don't care how they say it. It may ruin their dinner party hearing me say that. But they do not support. They're there for trade. They're not there for you. And this is one thing I will say. I know the Dutch embassy does a lot more. When there's been disasters and whatever, um, they've been better. So those people that are going, oh, Brexit will give us more power, good luck with it. Because uh, there's very little in that sense that's going to benefit you in any way whatsoever. Um, it ain't going to reduce the, the budget related to politics because they're going to create these other entities so they can keep the jobs going in another little pension fund. But anyway, I'm going off on tangent. The point being is the Brexit is not going to support or help in any form for Brits with non-EU families at all. At all. Because it's going to have the problems if it separates. You can't get anything from EU support if it's not in the EU. Uh, sorry, if the UK is not in the EU unless it's recognised for freedom of movement. Um, even coming to Europe will become much more difficult. So I would advise anybody that is serious um, about coming to the West somewhere in Europe, um, I'd say probably a window of probably two years and then things will start to change. Um, I can't see it being longer than two years, it could even be shorter. But one of the things I will say is places like uh, Spain and whatever, once you're in, it's, they have a lot more I, would you call it leniency? I'd say it's more acceptance. I'd say they accept foreigners a lot better. They accept people from other parts of the world. Um, and I would say it's probably people appreciate you more than a lot of people get appreciated by the British government in that way, in my personal opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching.